it's highly unlikely that the school experience is going to be uh, back to normal anytime soon. It's likely that uh, kids won't be able to be 60 kids on a bus and that we won't have 30 kids in the same time in a classroom until we have better ways of stopping transmission and making sure that uh, that is a, a low risk environment for our children. The challenges for our superintendents is not just the safe operation of schools, but also ensuring that there's no transmission of the disease from school children and staff to grandmothers, grandfathers, and other members of the family's extended community. People especially who may be uh, undergoing uh, chronic illness or may be uh, vulnerable for other reasons. And I think that there's an assumption that we sometimes make that, uh, that all children are are healthy and are very low risk for COVID-19. And we need to be careful about that because we do have many children with underlying health conditions that make them medically vulnerable. We need to protect them as well. There's nothing more important than the safety of our students while under our care. And as we prepare for a fall return, the committee recommends districts pilot procedures for screening, sanitization, social distancing, and hand washing during summer programming. While schools won't be able to implement at scale until the fall, business and industry has already begun implementing return procedures. Schools can learn about best practices. We are developing a return to school guide, which is based off of and in partnership with Spectrum Health. We are also developing a return to child care guide in partnership with Spectrum Health. Planning for K-12, as Kevin mentioned, is a large task. And right now we're looking at what can we do now to prepare for full scale come this fall. I am in awe of the amount of planning, effort, and rigor that was required first to pivot quickly to virtual learning and now to plan for this next phase for the fall. As a parent of two children in our public schools and on behalf of thousands of our team members with school-aged children, we greatly appreciate and recognize this tremendous undertaking and the sacrifice our schools and parents have made. Spectrum Health is proud to partner and collaborate with Kent County school leaders in sharing best practices, guidance, tools, and resources. These are similar resources to the ones we use within our own health system to care for our patients, communities, and our team members. And this close collaboration is now more important than ever as we all are navigating the uncertainties of this ongoing pandemic.